We're gonna ch check out what gas it is. Right? I mean, like a combustion engine. Yep, it's the combustion. Uh, we are trying to talk. Okay, is the notes are long? Can, mommy can go through with him. With pa the parents can go through with them. Line these up like on their heads, like on the, like the flat part. We like melt them upside down and like do like two, four, six, eight, and we like. Do you want to switch over there? This way. Okay, let me get to the page. What are we doing? Why is there a bottle of Coke? You have to drain it off. I what? Yeah, is either drink it up or you have to drain it off. We we need it empty. That's such a. Weird. So if you can't drink it, so gonna let somebody else drink it. Okay, so let's just roughly go through the notes part of it first. So drain cleaners. So drain clean cleaners, you can take a look that pads are mostly as I need to use the fire detail as a, a, yeah, as a parent would, at home. Would I you use like me to read? Oh okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay, drain cleaner chemical formula. Drain cleaners consist of a range of chemical formulas in order to unclog flats. Sorry, unclog fats, oil, and grease, all solids from a blocked pipe. They work via a number of mechanisms to produce the same result with varying rates of success depending on the application. So there are three main categories for chemical drain cleaners. There are acids, caustics, and oxidizers. Um, the acidic drain cleaners, the first one. Acid drain cleaners commonly contain a high concentration of sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid and typically come in liquid form. They work by a process of acid hydrolysis to dissolve the fats and solids that create a drain blockage. Acid hydrolysis is a process of breaking down larger molecules into smaller molecules by adding acid and water to a substance. The acid lends its hydrogen atoms to the water particles to evoke a chemical reaction. The second one would be caustic drain cleaners. Caustic drain cleaners contain sodium hydroxide, commonly known as lye or caustic soda, they tend to come in a solid form. Caustic drain cleaners begin to work when aluminium reacts with sodium hydroxide and water to produce a hydrogen gas. The gas causes a fizzing or bubbling reaction, which helps to dislodge and break up fats and grease. The third one is the oxidizing drain cleaners. Oxidizing drain cleaners contain chemicals such as sodium, hydrochloride, or also known as bleach, hydrogen peroxide, or nitrates. These are common household cleaners. They work by a process of oxidation. The oxidizing agent or cleaner mixed with water and loses electrons to the blockage mass so that the mass is heavier and easier to move through the blocked drain. Chemical formulas found in common drain cleaners as shown in the table below, are categorized by the classification with the chemical formula for each. Okay, so if you look at this, right, one, two, and three, which one do you think we are reading today? Oxidize. Yes, one, two, and three. Which one do you one, think? Two, and three. Yeah. I think it's two. 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 Why? Why do you think it's two? Because I guessed it. <laughs> you guessed it. We are going to do two because that's where we collect our hydrogen gas here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Yeah. And if you look at this, you no, know, in Singapore, there's a lot of fire incidents in Singapore, right? You can look at the chart over here. People who are, you know, how many fire injuries there are, how many are fatal. So online, if you go search around, you can see this is 2019 and 2020. You no, know, these are, you no. Know, caused by unattending cooking, um, discarded items, or electrical. That's the reason why when we talk about throwing things into the rubbish bin, 
we, we try not to throw things that are chemical, uh, more chemical based in there because you never know what happened, right? When people throw wet stuff in there or other things that might react to it. Uh, we are also talking about like batteries. Do not yes, throw correct. batteries um, into the rubbish chute, because especially it, if it's a centralized uh, chute. Because you are like, if you throw the battery and the wires together in a circuit, you make like spark. Yeah, you spark and then the hope will not burn. Yeah, so if you if you really want to throw down the bin, make sure that you put it in the, into a container or a bag that doesn't uh, kind of break easily and stuff. If you really want to. Yeah, because I know it's a bit difficult to throw it around Singapore. Okay, so you can see that in this is Singapore incident over here uh, during Haraya one weekend. So what happened over here? Okay, you can go and take a look at this, okay? They were cleaning up the, 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 the uh, house because they, they were having a big party, right? So after cleaning everything and washing, then they had this clock in the house. So they were trying to unclock it. See, they started uh, cleaning up and washing the dishes. Then they noticed the water was not running smoothly. So she poured hot water into the sink and waited for 10, uh, 10 to 15 minutes, hoping that you know, it would help to make it move smoothly. It didn't work. So the husband who was washing the toilet at the time, took over. And then after the water, the hot water has been drained away, he started pouring declogger powder from a bottle cap into a drain hole on the floor next to the sink. Because he was thinking that, oh, maybe it's, there's something stuck in there instead. So he's trying to declog it, right? Now what happened next shocked them? You know, there's, there's a sudden explosion, sound like a volcano erupt, erupting. It happened in a blink of an eye. There was no warning, no bubbling on anything. The next thing I knew, my husband was screaming in pain. The remaining powder in the cap was all over the floor. The explode could have been caused by the reaction of chemicals in a declogger and hot water, said the chemist. So you can see that you no, know, sometimes we, we feel that you no, know, there's not a big matter, but it actually creates a very surprising you know, chemical reaction. Uh, so you see, even his eye was turned white because it spray and then sprinkle into his eyes and stuff, right? So all these parents can actually read with them. There's another case in Chicago as well. Same thing, clear a declocked uh, kitchen sink. So uh, it's important that we teach our children you know the declogger at home and how to use it. So as they grow older, they know what to do with it. So today we're going to experiment with it as well and see what happens. Okay, Colin, can I have a, some water, please? Um, use the beaker, the soft beaker, and then bring some water. How can I eat that? Any water. This one, anyone. Okay, Colin's going to bring me water so we can start with this. Just normal water. Uh, no ice cold water, just normal water. This one? Yeah, tap water will do. So I'm going to add some of the crystals here. It's a drink cleaner. Whichever, Colin. Okay, I think I better use something, a paper. Do I have paper? Yes. Thank you. I don't need that much, but thank you. So I'm going to. And you don't wait. Stop, stop. You can <laughs> use a piece of paper. I am there, like see? A, 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 see, a, see? See, 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 I am to build a funnel, right? Yeah, no. counting is it? Yeah, that was what I was doing. Very smart. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I was trying to yes. do. Fine paper. And then I'm going to add it in. Okay, if you're afraid of it, then don't put too much, okay? Because you can see, just don't put too much of it. Don't put too much water. And then just see a little bit of it. Yeah. So I just added like... Just, I just cover the bottom a little bit. What wire can I use? Uh, my phone wire. Okay, oh, it's too long. Come in. My phone wire. I know what I'm saying is too long. Okay, call in on. If not, then don't, you cannot figure out, don't play, remember? Okay, so I've added in, in, in already, right? And I have my stick. 
I have my lighter here. There's a reason for it. Let me turn off my fan at home. Yeah, I just turned off my fan at home because I don't want anything else to happen. Okay, so now we're going to put some aluminum in there. Okay, I want to tear into smaller pieces. Now I can put it in a very, very loose ball. Don't be too tight, this loose ball will do. Or you can tear them in long strips and then roll it into loosely again as, as it is. Make it loose. Just press it in. And you can just create some of them. Make sure your table, things around your you is not flammable, okay? because you are working with lighter, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna add some water in there first. I'm adding about one and a half inch on, in mine only to test out. Now I shake it. Okay, got it. Okay, your one you can watch first and then do it later if you want to. So I'm going to start dropping. Okay, you can feel the water actually is the bottle is getting warm already. There's a reaction to it. That's why when you put this into the, the drain, drain cleaner, it actually helps to warm up the pipe and stuff, right? So when you put it into the, the drain cleaner, they are, they are hoping that it warms the pipe up and expand it so that the things that are clogged will move along the pipe, all right? Then you drop a few of it in there. And you wait. You will start to see bubbles coming out from the aluminum just beside it. Like for mine, you can see already. There are bubbles uh, forming. You can do that later at home with our mom or dad, okay? It's fine. You can watch it first. Uh, we, are, we are also watching, Joe. We yes, are, we are not correct. It yet. I have not drained it yet. It's okay. You can put it in a cup if you want. <laughs> yeah, we have not drained it yet. You can it watch yet. it first so that, you know, if you're worried, then you will not, get, you will not feel too dangerous for yourself. Nothing all this thing stuff so that it's away from my computer. Okay, so I'm going to light up the stick here. And burn it a little bit in the front. I'm gonna turn it sideways. See that? Yeah, it creates that, that sound because it's hydrogen inside. Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time because the air is still producing, so there'll be more in there, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing. And it's sideways. You can see that now? It's less concentrate right now because I just used a lot of it just now. But you can see the, the fire goes from the top all the way to the bottom. Excuse me, Auntie yeah. Dong can say hydrogen is flammable. Yes, it's flammable. That, that's right. That's why we say how to be careful, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just letting the air a bit more. I'll do the third time, okay? Then I will do the ones that you shouldn't do at home unless your parents are willing to do it with you. Okay, one last time. Oh, can you see that? This is a lot stronger because I left it on for longer, right? Okay, this one, you shouldn't do it. 
I'm gonna do it. My house. I'm collecting the gas in there. I'm waiting for it to be collected. But I'm not gonna do a big one because I do not want to burn out anything in my house. Okay, make I'm gonna take it out. Make a bigger one. Okay, I'm going to dilute this and put it away because I don't need it anymore. So I have my balloon here. I'm gonna make it as small as possible. This is the same experiment that you see in Science Center. The Tesla, part of it will show you that they, they pop the balloon, remember? I'm gonna tie this to my stick because I don't want to be involved in any thing that pops in front of my face, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, okay, I have, this at home. So I'm going to use a torch, okay? Let me get this fixed on this. Auntie John, you're going to burn the, your home now. I'm going to stay away from it. <laughs> Do not do this at home unless your parents agree, okay? Is yes. there a safe system? Yeah, you can stay there. I think I'll be careful. Don't burn the map, okay? You know, right? I'm going to release some gas. Ah, see? Okay, going to see what happens again. Wait, before that, wait, wait, wait. I want to extend my stick first. Please, so hang I, on. Don't. Yeah. Don't so hang I on. feel safer. Yes. Don't. Hang on, yes. don't. Yes, yes. Give me a moment. Uh, yeah. Because there is a... Uh... Give me a moment, Joan. Yep. Okay, sure. Noted. You okay? Yes, I'm just checking checks. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to take my... I have two sticks. So, I'm going to take them together so it gets longer. So, I feel safer. Thank you, Joan. Have you put yes. on your goggles yet? Sorry? Your goggles. Oh, uh, I'll be quite far away. That's why I put so much tapes and stuff and extend the stick, right? Because I don't want to be anything close to it, too close to it. Annalise loves you, so she's checking with you for your goal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm going to stay away from... So camera far away? Yes, correct. Okay, me far away too. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do too big a balloon because I'm afraid of it myself. And I'm not outdoors. All right. So on the picture over here, you can see. Yeah, that's how you collect it. But uh, only do this with adult supervision, please. I don't want you to burn down your house. <laughs> okay. Ah, Nikola Tesla, we're just talking about it, right? Okay, I've already done the notes wise. <laughs> burn house. Yeah, I've already done no small notes part. You can read about it. That's what, uh, what he has been building throughout the years in small little parts. The news I've taken on, off online, okay? How, how they actually uh, managed to come with the invention of remote controls. And the first remote controls was actually for his remote control uh, boat. You can see in the picture up here. That's the first one that they came up with. And today, so continue reading on your own, please. And then today, our remote control, we are going to do a remote control card that goes forward and backwards only, okay? So this is what 
the first that I've done already. So if I press the button, you can see that. Okay. Does it turn? No, not this one. If you need to turn it, you need to have more electric circuits in there. So today we are just focusing on backwards and forward. So you, know, you can understand how it works. Now what makes it go forward and backwards? If, if, if the car is slanted, it can... If it can go sideways. If yeah, or the if you car is slanted, you move it some way, it can go like... like and, 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 and another way is that for you to wheels offset the wheels that make sure it's not it's not straight it's slanted then yeah it will go slanted you have a car ah, there yeah that one goes all direction <laughs> okay so we're gonna start doing it pick up the stuff Instructions are in there, pictures are in there, those who need pictures are all inside there, okay? If you still feel lost with it, then you let me know. I'm going to do the first part first. So we're going to take out the con remote control box pieces. One, two, three. Four. So this small four pieces and then these two here are for the remote control boxes. The box, not boxes. I'm dreaming here. And we also need this piece here, the straight one, okay? Not the, not the L-shaped ones, but the straight one. What so, is for the antenna looking things? Uh, antenna is at this to receive is uh, to receive the instructions right from the, the controller to mm -hmm. the car. Yeah. And we need this one as well. I'm gonna pull them all out because we need we need these screws, the short screws. For this controller parts, we are using the short screws. We will need one, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, we need six short screws for this one. Let me put it down lower so you can see clear. There you go, clear enough. Okay, and then you have your wire sticker. There you go. How many short screws? Six. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, so this, this is everything we need. Ready to start? Yes, Dennis, ready, very much ready. So are you gonna take out this piece here? Find a piece over here, you can see that's A dot over here. Circle over there, put the wire through it, and then pull. Got it? So first step, put it in through the hole there, and pull it to the back. So and the next step, here. okay. And if you, are, you find that you want to magnetize your screw, then use a magnet, okay? So I'm gonna pick up one screw first. You see that you see that if I align it properly, the first and the last should be able to put a screw in there. You should see both holes in there. I'm gonna go for the shorter hole over there, not the oval one, the round one on the closer to one to the wire. I'm going to screw up, screw in that one. Align and screw. So 
So that's the first one. And the second one goes to the last hole. So first and last hole. Forward. John, does this work? Anything that makes you makes you screw the things in. I mean, like this is magnetic, so yeah. So if it works for you, then it's good already. You don't have to be magnetic, but it's easier. Okay. So I've finished this. Two screws in there. You can see that. Finish with this. And then from the pack, also pick up these two red pieces too. Is this buttons? Yes, they are buttons. You're right. So Dang. these two buttons go to the controller here. Over here, you see the two buttons on top? You just click it on. Actually, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think this one we can move sideways. I will test it out, but we will have to figure it out. Because I know when I tested it, it kind of, I went backwards and then moved forward, it curved a little bit. But I think that's because of the alignment of my wheels. So you finish this and this too. Are you done with that? I haven't even I... started. Haven't you started? Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was setting up the screwdriver. Ah, I see. So front back, put a screw in, align them. Make sure that the wire goes through the hole. And then put the buttons on. This, like this nub here, this like nub on the circuit. Okay. Yes, that's right. What is this? You're right. It's like, yes, you're right, Danny. What's this nub here? This that, is for, that is for, I think if I'm not wrong, that is for how... um. Uh, what do you say that word called? Uh, Constantine, can you ask daddy what's the word called? What is that part is for? Um, Which part? Um, yeah, this, the button on uh, this one at the side. Oh, ask me. I know only. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's, I, if I'm not wrong, it's actually um, to tighten it as well. To adjust because you can actually put a screw inside and can turn it uh, miss. to adjust it. Where do I put the screw? Front and back. Google in, your, in your picture, you can look at uh, step number four, picture two. Okay. So from here, we are going to flip it back. And then you see two holes that is slanted over here. We're going to put this right on top of it. The two holes should match in that two holes too. Then we take another of the, the short, wire, uh, short screws and then we screw it down gent uh, softly. Not, don't have to be way tight, okay? Just as long as it's firm, it's good. Wow, Auntie, don't press the two holes. You can see there's the hole down here. Can see, I'm aligned the whole uh, underneath already. Uh, yeah. Oops. There you go. Okay. Hang on, yeah. Hmm. Let's go for the remote. This is the remote. You use a long or short screw? Uh, short. All the, all the screws for this yeah. remote are all short. Okay, Auntie Jun, I still don't see the how the holes can align. 
they are actually slanted. So you must make sure you are facing the correct direction. Uh, I think the board is the, the battery pack is screwed on the opposite. Hey, okay, let, let me let me show you, okay, because the hole goes through both sides. You see? So there are actually one, two, three, four, five holes here. You'll use uh -huh. the first two over here, the middle to the one on the corner. The middle to the one on the corner. The yes, middle, middle corner. Middle to the one. To on middle the corner. corner. Sorry, yeah. I I I I may see. Okay. <laughs> I know it's such a trivial thing, right? Okay, you see, see this? Yes, that is over there. I can see. And it. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Then you just have to uh, uh, switch the switch the pack over. Switch the battery pack, right? Yes. To the other way, right? Okay. Correct. <laughs> okay. It's okay. We'll wait. Or if not, you can just fix this one first, then you fix the you fix the wire for the for the battery too. Okay. I okay, I follow you, okay, Constantine. I follow your mommy. I'll take it out and I'll redo this part. And this time round, I'll show her how to just if she's afraid of being it wrong again, then you fix the controller first then. Find a place in the controller, fix it in, and then you do the battery pad. So either way will work. So don't have to worry, okay? See? So I'm following you guys to redo this again for those who needs to do it. So if you are afraid of mistakes, then just put this on first. Then you do the same thing at the back. Put the two wires through the hole to the front. And then pull it in. From there, align the two holes front and back. And screw it in again. There you go. So, got it? I'm using the longer screw for the one in the short middle. Screw. You no? only need the short. You only need short screws for all this. Yeah, but it cannot. Um, it cannot. It cannot reach the bottom. It can. You just need to press a little bit and screw it down. You don't have to screw it very low down. Just a little bit tight enough only. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Because we need a long one for somewhere else, but if you really can't, then it's okay. Then the front one, you just switch them to short screws. Okay. You Not a problem. Okay. okay. Let's turn it around. It's this way. Okay, let me just try the short screw again. And Elise, are you all right? So done with that. Um. Yeah. Possible? The board is on it. Yes. Possible now. Screw, yeah. Yes. Don't have to screw it too tight in. Yes. Don't have just as long as firm is good enough. That's why they give it to. Yeah. And okay. now. If that's done. Board. Yeah. Battery pack. Okay. Yeah. So for those who are done, you can see this white wire here. There's a little hole in there. You can put a screw, the short screw through it all the way to through this hole on the antenna, the straight antenna, the end of it. And then put both on top and then screw it in. Okay, so see, I'm going to put my screw through the hole first. And then I'm going to put it through the other hole on the antenna. 
I'm going to align it down and then screw it in. Can I see that again one more time? Okay, let me reverse it. Okay, the one with the screen. Okay. Watch, watch again, okay? Mm. So watch this. Screw into Long the screw, hole here. Screw. Short screw. Okay. Into the hole here. Uh huh. I'll, I'll put it this way. Okay, let me put it through first. Correct. Okay. And then I take this antenna, the straight Ooh. one. Mm -hmm. I put it through the hole as well, the hook hole. Okay. Facing upwards. And then into the hole here. Uh -huh. Okay. And then screw them all in at the same time. Whoops, and then it flew off. Some screws. Okay, I'll do it on table, okay? Because it's more stable. And I'll have two hands. Can I come forward, please? Sure. So this one, if it's difficult, just get someone to hold it down for you. There you go. And as you screw it in, then you move the, the white wire down a little bit so that it's inside the box. And the antenna should go straight up to the front. Because in the end, it is like this, see that? So it's on top here. And you want to keep the wire inside the box because it's a box. Got it now? Yep. Okay. Now we, I have one screw left here, right? I'm going to pick up three more to make it four. Now I'm going to fix this on. So, okay, there are two, two short pieces here. They are a little different. This one has a little hole, a little teeth. On top, the wire or the antenna? Okay. Um, it doesn't matter anyway, as long as they're in the same hole. Okay. Thank yeah, we just want to make sure the wire, the little circle in the wire area is connected to the antenna. Okay. So they touch each other. Thank you. You're welcome. So you see this piece here? There's a little hole here, a little gap here. That's the one that goes through the antenna here. Then you press it in. And you turn to the back. You see the screw, the hole for the screw. Take a short screw and then secure can it you, down. Can you, can you show me that again? Um, yeah, that, that piece itself. Yeah. Okay, let me take it out. Okay, you see this piece here? That's a little gap here. Yeah, that belongs to the front, the top part of it. Where the antenna is. See that? Then when you are done, turn over, secure it with a screw, a short screw. And repeat the same to the one at the back. The back has no front and back, so it's fine. Let's push it in. And then screw it down as well. Secure it down with the screw.
There you go. Once you're done, you flip it over. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, tightening it. Go ahead. Don't worry. I'm just gonna fix the side of the walls as all. Well. <laughs> uh, I'll come back to do this later. Uh, hey, no problem. You can just watch. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. See, so we've created a wall here. And those are waiting. You can take these two tubes over. There are two of these tubes here. You can bring it out as well for the next step. The two side walls we need to screw? No, there's no screw for that one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we just use the two on the sides to pressure it down with the cover later. Okay, so then, so those who are done, see the two short wires here? You need to take out the, uh, about one cm of it. So strip it off. Use the smallest hole, a 0 0.6. Oh, oh, hold on, Auntie John. Okay. All right, <laughs> got it, waiting. Okay, just me explain to them, those who are ready can use the wire stripper, strip off the at end of the two short wires for about one cm with the 0 0.6. After stripping it off, make sure you twist it as well so that we make it stronger so it doesn't fray around later on. Okay. So Constantine, you got this? Yes. Now you see the two tubes here? Slide one tube to one of it. Does it matter red to red and black to black? Yes, it does. Red to red and black to black. Yeah. Okay. I can't go the opposite direction. Yeah, so I put a sleeve inside and each then... of them. Okay, this step you can, if you do the full, you can either do full or you can shorten it, whichever you want. I'm just going to do the easy. So we are just going to zip tie it down but those who want to shorten the wire so you don't have to use a zip tie you can do that too are we are we uh, joining the two wires together red yes and red, black and black, uh, yes we are it? we are there see so we are using this putting these two together right side by side you can see that side by side and then we twist them together Now, if it's too long, I would just measure about 1 cm and then I use the back of your stripper to just cut it off. So once it's secure, you bend it backwards so that you can push this sleeve upwards. You see this? Oops. <laughs> okay, mine came up. I need to twist again. So 1 cm is good. Mine is less than one. And just fold it back and then use a sleeve to protect it. This one, mommy, daddy needs to help. We are because we are going to 
You know how you use on you burn put heat on rubber and then it will shrink. So I'm using this to shrink it so that it's tighter. Okay. Try not to burn on the wire. Yeah. So it's now tightened. So I'm going to do the same thing with the black wires too. Fold it back and slide it up again in the middle. And then I'm going to use flame to tighten it again. Just burn the rubber, okay? Don't burn the wire. Oh. <laughs> so it'll be looking like this and it'll be very, very long. So what we're going to do when it's so long is to fold it down. The cube on the sleeve, does it stay there forever? Yes, it does. So when you heat it up, it will shrink and then you grab on it unless you, you cut it out. Oh. I'm going to arrange my wire and make sure that they stay on the side. If you want to, you can use a zip tie. If you don't want to, then you just make sure you push it to the side. So I'm going to zip tie and tie it up. So it will not go anywhere. Okay. And once I do this, I will shorten it. You can use the hair dryer too, yeah? If you don't yes, right? Fun. Yes. Yeah, you can use hair dryer too. Then I cut off the uh, I cut off the tail. So it's shortened and then I put it back in the box to the side. Once you're done with that, you see the cover? It's just right. Then you put it on top. So cover it up and press down all the sides slowly. I did not. I mean, sometimes can you stop speeding like a, a bullet <laughs> train? Well, you remember if you are showing me what you are doing. Your project, I can see better, but if not, I have to guess. <laughs> okay, that is in a wire part of it, right? So I will take out this because it's not there yet, right? Okay, add cover. Daddy Prem is trying to connect the wires for you, right? No. No, he only got one daddy. So you yeah, must daddy, daddy pray. Why must daddy pray? As if he got because many, many, many. Because the rest know your name. I cannot be calling everybody's daddy, right? <laughs> 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 so it's easier to, to just daddy go daddy pray. Everybody know. It's Constantine's dad. <laughs> uh, let's call Constantine's dad. Don't reveal my name. Daddy pray. Secret, secret, secret. <laughs> 
secret. Brave. Yeah. So when you... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so those who had already finished up the cover, you can easily put on the screws on the side to secure it too. Okay, Daddy's trying to heat up the rubber. It's a very handy small. And after that, what are we do next, Auntie John? Is to tie the wires together and then put it aside. Remember. Then how to tie the wires? You have a yeah, zip tie. You have cable tying. When the what? When the hair dryer is on, only you must talk to her. Because it's like two. Can I can I disconnect the hair dryer? Thank you. Oh. Okay. Boom! Pull! 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 Auntie Chong can uh, Auntie Chong can see inside your. Your Let's sit inside again. Okay, let me take it out. Ugh. There you go. Why don't I take a picture and send to the group? Okay, let me take a picture and send. And you'll be able to see. Okay, send. How are you doing, Auntie John? I send a picture to the WhatsApp so mommy can show you. Oh. Then we tighten it up. That's how it looks, and with color, that's how it looks. It looks exactly the same. You just want to keep the wires down, right? That's all. Yes, correct. Just make okay, sure it doesn't good. get stuck under the buttons. Okay. Mm. Because if not, then you you wonder what is happening. That's all. Yeah. Just keep it in a box. Keep it under. That's about it. And I'm gonna take out the other pieces to prepare. Okay, and take out the pieces for the car and the engine. Please, I think so. Please wait for us. We are tying the thing. Okay. What's the thing? The thing is the wire. Okay, okay. Okay, got it. The thing can be a bit confusing. <laughs> uh, because I'm not good at grammar, right? Have you have you checked your engine today? Your um motor today yet? Check my what? The motor. To check whether it works. So checking the motor, I'm just gonna put two batteries in there. And then use the exposed part of the wires to touch both sides, one on each side. There, you can hear it should work. That means that the motor the end the, the hobby motor over here is working. I can take it out again. So that will make sure I have nothing wrong later on. I'm going to bring in all the screws and separate to big and small, short and long. Can I, can I use these batteries? Is it double A? Huh? 
As long as they are double A, you can use yeah, them. Yeah, double A. Yep, then you can use them. How many squirrels, Auntie Dawn? Just bring the rest. We will need most of it for, for the rest of our project. It's plus to plus, right? Sorry? It's plus to plus. Yeah, you can see, you can see there's actually a label inside of a plus. It shows plus, it means that it's supposed to be that direction. You want to knock it down or? Ah, uh, yeah, but you know, I think. Why do you put it in the lighter? I'm scared. Because I'm scared of the lighter. The lighter is locked. Just when you take it. Oh, got it? It does not work. It doesn't work for you. Did you okay? You touch the the wire side, right? The empty wire side onto the two ears. Oh, you do. Pick up the wire. You must make sure that the wires are touching the the copper wire, the copper ears there. It must touch like this. Oh. Yeah, okay, it works. Okay, good. Now, those who are waiting around, you see these wires here, the four wires is too short on the top. So use a wire, wire stripper to strip off one CM on top of each of them and twist it again. What? See the short, the four short wires here? Yeah. Your top is too short, right? Yeah. So take your wire stripper, strip off one cm again. You need to let me scrape this for all. So I cut off the four. I'm using the corners to help spin it. So I pull and spin at the same time. Constantine, brief, okay? Yes, yes, Auntie Dawn. I say brief, okay? Yes. You play your toys, huh? Okay. Yes. So, see, I stripped the four already. And give them a spin. Yeah, let me pass you the pen knife, please. Pen knife. Oh, Leon, you don't have a wire stripper, is it? No, I do not have. Mommy, what's pen knife? Oh, okay. And because I don't even know what it is. Mommy, what what mommy what's a pen knife? This one. You don't have this one, yeah? Don't have. Okay. You want me to send you one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Much better, right? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. No, he doesn't know why he's in there. Oh, let me go get that pen knife. Yes. Okay. I don't want to do this anymore. So once, since we are doing this, okay, you don't finish already or not? Okay, so once you're done with setting it up, I'm going to take this board here 
and the battery pack. Now we've got to be a bit mindful, okay, on where, where we are going to do. So because you look at these two sides, these two pieces here and these two are very different. Okay, see this is one is like a step and this is more parallel to each other, but no one in the middle of it, okay? So I'm going to make sure that this longer one, the, the long ones is underneath. And then I put the battery cover on top and wires through the middle hole again. Be careful, don't put yourself. Okay. So it's like this, see that? So the long one should be up here. Okay, to, to me, it actually looks like this. So I put, for me, the long one is on the bottom part. Then I find Means the two. When you're, when you're holding the battery pack with your left hand, the longer hole should be facing downwards. Yeah, means that if it's, that means the, the, the wires for the battery pack should be on your right hand side. Yes. So when you're holding the battery pack on your left hand, the longer, long and short pole, poles should be down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, the, you hold your, actually depending on which hand you're holding with, right? <laughs> to be specific, that's why I say yeah. left hand so that okay. everybody's okay. down. I, I rotated hand. it, I rotated my, my my model so that it's actually what it should look on your arm for you. See, correct now? No. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I cannot do this. I cannot do the control. You cannot do what? The control. The, the top is so hard to fit in. Uh, you look at the side of it, just, and then you make sure that no, uh, the, the two longer sides need to be, um, you need to press on it a little bit more because the cutting is a bit um, inwards. So to make it uh, more firm. Yes, I need to have to press this thing down. <coughs> Immediately. Yeah. ASAP. Mm -hmm. no, well, I yeah, see a problem with that, you can leave it and then we finish this car, we go back to that with you, okay? Take out the batteries. So there you go. So same thing, two screws on the two far ends. And then we leave it aside. I see your panel. Sorry. Auntie Dong, wait a minute. Okay. You must remember because okay. I cannot see, yeah? So you must tell me, okay? Mm. Next thing I'm going to work with are these over here. Okay. So the next, this is what I'm done with just now. Hello. I'm going to this one. I'm going to try it. Okay. Hyper focus, come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm done with and I'm going to focus on I'm done. How many screws? Four. Yeah. Four short ones for this particular part, okay? Four big ones or four small ones? Small short ones. Okay. Okay. So, you see the, the yellow and the green wire here? I'm going to face you, okay? So I'm going to put the green one towards the, let me see it's positive negative, the negative ear. How do you know whether it's negative? You turn it around and look over here. On the positive side, there's a little circle there that has a plus inside. So that's positive, yeah? 
So I'm putting the green to the negative here. And yellow to the positive year. Yeah. Oh, you clear? What did you just do? Just cut off the thing at the same time, right? Yep. I was trying to. I was trying to strip the black. Why you know? I, I cut off the thing. I think. What, what do you say? I cut off the thing. Let me say I cut off the thing. No bark. I have. I need that thing soon. Wait, where does the green and yellow wires go? The green goes to the negative year, the yellow to the positive year. Wait, under the cup, under the thingies or inside those holes? Yeah, you see that over here, right? Okay. There's actually a circle there. The circle right actually have a plus there. That's positive. So yellow to positive, green to negative. It works. Okay, that's good. But once you're done, remember how it was facing you just now? With this long line on the bottom, you flip it over. Okay, flip it over exactly. And then we are going to... You see these two over here? Mm -hmm. One has a little slot like this. Uh -huh. Smaller circle, one has bigger circle, right? Yes. Bigger circle goes to the back of the motor. Smaller goes to the front. All right. Got it? Yes. Okay, and then you're going to fit this right in the holes of the back there. I'm going to pick up two more short screws here because I want to secure this one first. So once you slot it in, you turn it over, you can secure it first so you are not afraid that it will fall off. You need three of them, okay. One. Two. So you secure this tree at the back, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. Okay, he's securing. Give him a moment, please. Okay, thank you for letting me know, so I know where he is. <laughs> he's at home. Yes, he's at home in Singapore too. You know that. <laughs> I know, Colin. I'm just kidding. Yeah, and yeah. mommy, and um, mommy over here is just disturbing her back. I'm disturbing both of you. Yes. Hey, the more the merrier. The more the merrier, Colin says. Okay, finish and, securing and, it. And, and, Done, yeah? So over here, you can see 
there are four little dots here that creates a, a rectangle, okay? That's the four we need for this four. So remember, you don't have a type. Shortest. Oh my god, what did you do to the yellow? No, it's hard to draw that. We probably have to do it when we get the wire stripper. I only can do it when we get the wire stripper. I can't strip the wires without it. Not done yet? No, we can't strip the wires at all. We Why? need a wire stripper. It, it can, it just needs some <laughs> skills. Yeah, we keep cutting the wire short. We keep cutting uh, the wire, not not skinning. Or if you if you want, if you want, um, then you can leave the wires part of it out first, and then do it when it's done. Is here when it arrives. Okay, you can leave it first. You can do it when it arrives. Okay, mommy, can I charge you for that? Uh, the stripper is a dollar, and then whatever it costs for the deliver uh, for the sink post milling, yeah. A dollar? Yes, can. Yeah, and I don't know how much is the mailing. I need to go and figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing so, some yeah. experiment mochi thingy today? Sorry? Are we doing some mochi thingy today? Yeah, that was that's an easy one. It's just more like a snack. Yes, I like mochi. Oh, yeah. This one is very interesting. Okay. Are we doing also green, some green thingy? Yeah, you're going to ex explore it. So today is one of the four stuff today. Correct. That's why we leave this in the middle because it takes more time, right, to do this. So the same for the white wire here, it works exactly the same as the one for your controller. Screw in the hole and then into the antenna. We can do. Up. And then into the, the hole in the bottom. No, the 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 problem is like oh. Hello. Okay, but you want it quicker? Ask your dad when he gets back home and whether he can do it for you. When he gets back home, you'll be night at night faster than the wire stripper. <laughs> that takes a few days. So we fixed the antenna already. I did the control. You did the controller already? Good. So this one is very similar. The last two wires for this is very similar. The same black to black, white, uh, red to red, and put a slip in. My controller and you're playing unless I'm something. Yeah, so we have to put a slip in and stuff. So if you, you want to wait for the wire stripper, your dad to come back and help you do it if he know how to do it, then you can leave the wires alone and do the structure of everything else first. Okay. I shall leave the wires alone and I shall not put in the motor yet. Uh -huh. so I'm going to twist up all these wires first. So I don't have to do it later. Yeah. The antenna part of it, sometimes it's easier getting another person to help you to hold on to it if you can't handle it yourself.
So the wires are the same as controller. If it's too long, you don't want to cut it off, then you just do exactly that what you did earlier and then fold it and use a cable tie. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you over here how I actually cut it short instead. It can be done if you know what you're doing. Remember, you don't have to cut it off short, but I'm just showing that it can be done if you don't want to use the wires, I you don't want to use a cable tie. Because in this factory, they, everything comes in the same in the same way. They won't adjust accord, according to the length you need only. So you have to adjust it yourself. So, Auntie Jo, we have yes. two, one short black wire and one long black wire and one yes. red wire sticking out, right? Uh, two red and two black. Two red and two black, okay. Yes. Two red and two black, okay. Yeah, just like the controller just now. Okay. Then we do exactly what we did to the controller. Combine the two of them together, twist them together, and then put a sleeve over it and tighten the sleeve. Yeah, she, she's, mm. not, she's not at the frame thingy yet. I'm going to do it underneath where there's no pen. Uh, so if you shorten it, then you can shorten to whichever length you want. If not, then just use cable tie, double fold, and then zip it up. So not a problem. A lot of things after doing that for some time, you can modify according to what you what you prefer. All these things here, we have the stoppers. Do not, do not, do not use that thing. I let you have a fire extinguisher. I let you. <laughs> I not think of burning down my cupboard. Make sure the parents are there with you and watching or doing it for you. No, there was some insect coming into the house, and it was on my wooden. It went on my wooden cover. My mom was putting the lighter. Ah, okay. So, so I thought he's going to find the insect. Oh, I think he's going to wait for me. Okay. I'll wait for you. No worries. Today is quite, this is not too difficult. So we are going to be done soon. Congratulations. Go find the other piece. Hello. Why is one piece missing? I have the back. What's the front? I accidentally threw my front piece away. <laughs> there, it's here. 
Oh, it looks awesome. So where are you, Constantine? Good. Okay, those are ready. You can fix your car down in. So this is the front of the car. This is the back of the car. Engine goes to the back. This is the part that you just keep quiet and do your stuff. And then did you put your timer again? Oh, yeah, forgot. Uh, you are done with your time already way before this. How can I trust you? Look. I forgot. <laughs> so often. Only the five. <laughs> I know. That's why you need to remember before you start. Uh, so once you're done, you can fix the side up. And then use the long screw to tighten it down. You can see there are two long long lines here, they're actually for the screws. So instead of using glue, like they used to. Not tighten it. Yeah, yeah the face, they use screws to help you tighten it instead, to fix them in place. And probably train kids and other people to work on their fine model skills of screwing things. You to, you to strip, not you to strip it. But the yellow one doesn't look stripped. Wheat. Want it if right? another way, okay, uh, Leon, another Anita, way you can do, Anita. let me show you. Okay, you can fix the, the sideboard up and then tighten it with the screw, okay? Yeah. Hey, Leon, let's try, uh, you can do, if mommy wants, she can do this, okay? She take a lighter, she can burn it off and then use tissue paper and pull it out. Oh, okay. That's another quick way if you want to. Burn it and then pull it off. Yep. So you melt it, melt the layer, and then no. you will see you see bubbling, and Wait, then no. you use tissue paper and pull it off. Why is it? So that will work too. You want the quickest, that will be the fastest. Burn it and use tissue paper. See it bubbling and then take a wipe and wipe it off. So, where is Constantine's car now? Which step are you at? Oh, so you tighten the bottom already? Yeah. Have you tightened nope. the bottom yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. He's uh, using glue tech to stick the wires down. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, that works too. Whichever works. I will just use a scotch tape. <laughs> Remember, he's Mr. Blue tech. Yes. yes. Which works. No. Whatever works. Say so, so you screw it in and then you can fit on the top too. Just like this. Where are I need to see the inside? <laughs> so manage to do the wire? Yeah, we managed to okay, do the wire. Okay. That's another quick way, not the best way, but yeah. It's cool. Now I have to remove the sideboard. So the cars, you can see, you only left with the long ones. So everything just fix with the long ones. And there's not enough long ones, then you use the remaining short ones on it. Because I have a feeling that not all of them have the same number of screws for each of them. Ta -da. Ta -da. 
You painted your car, did you? Yeah, the first one. Did you paint it before you fixed it or you painted it after you fixed it? Um, the, the first one I did was after. What I did, I, I, don't, I didn't use acrylic paint. I used a watercolor paint. That the ones that are pre that are pre done already. So the whole uh, brush is like water brush, but it's like a marker at the same time. See, so they look like this. Okay, you see. So this looks like brushes. Looks like what? Yeah, oh. It looks like brushes. But it's not. It's like a marker. It's like a like a marker at the same time, right? Right. It's a color. It's a color watercolor marker thingy. It's called soft watercolor pen. So what color pen? So soft, soft, soft watercolor pen. Soft. So water. Yeah. Soft. That's fine. You can get those in a stationery shop, I think. <laughs> I got mine from China, so I have no idea. Stop picking up stuff that I don't want you to pick up. Yeah. And I would like to secure my car on the other side. I forgot to secure the other two sides. This is funny. Oh, okay. Well, you promised just now you decide what you want to do. Yeah. 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 So you're not able to continue today anymore. What? Playing this anymore because okay. you've already finished okay. your game time for today. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Are we really done with the... No, I am not even done with the inside. <laughs> the inside. <laughs> if not, we can just... Yeah. We can watch the rest of the video later. <laughs> It's a video. Oh, because it's recorded. Oh. Yeah. It's recorded on your computer. Okay. Okay. If not, you can just skip skip to the back part of it and then you can continue to the front. So you don't miss everything, right? Yeah, Bob. Okay, so you can take a look at this. Yes, my mom is um uh, using the thing. Okay. So yeah, so you can see this axle here. I'm gonna slide it to the back, and then I'm gonna put this gear facing this way. You see the little dimple over it, the little little protruding part out is gonna face towards the wheels outside. It's gonna go like this. See that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then we put the axle through it. Now I need my mom to do because she's fusing the. Then budget. where's the gear connect to? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I forgot one step. You are right, Constantine. I forgot to put in this one over here. Yeah. So what? I do need to take oh, out. Wait, I forgot one part of it. He's right. He reminded me. So I'm gonna take out the side of the car here. 
the wall of the car on the side. Like, oh yeah, where's where's the teeth too? Also, there a mistake. That's right. You see, sometimes we all make mistakes, and it's okay. What is it? No, I'm just taking yeah. the one of the wall out here, so no, I can I slot I in. Uh, so I can slot in the gear for the motor. I missed on the motor part, the gear. So I just take it out, see it on side here, and then I put it in and slot it in. Oh. Mommy, mommy or daddy can help with this one. And if you want, then if you are afraid of spoiling it, then you just take out the top piece as well. Just one side of it will do. The whole thing will come off. Yeah. Please excuse my brother who is playing. So Leon, just nice. So you put in the gears for the engine right uh, for the uh, for the motor right now. Uh, yeah, yours cannot. is not closed. Sorry. I cannot because my mom is just the board. Okay. Okay, see, so over here, take a look first, okay? So you don't miss this one like we did. See over here? Yeah. So you put this teeth, the small teeth inside. Okay, what teeth? I can't see a teeth. I you yeah, mean the small teeth? little gear. The small yes, that one. Yes. Push it in all the way to the end. So what you can do is you can use a flat board to help you push it in. I need to pause on for a minute. I will because I'm also doing it right. I don't have to be afraid of that. Oh, I can't push this one. Yeah, I'm going to do it exactly how I think most of it we're doing is to take out whatever needs to take out, right? I'm changing this to a longer screw for the board. Smash it in. I can't get it. In. Um, I will use my extra board that we had. Alignment. Yeah, I'll break one piece of it. It is straight. Everything and then I will put it on top. And the whole thing doesn't fit. And use the board to. Ow, 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 ow. I poked myself with the thing. Only you need to put the gear, right? Uh, yeah, just push the gear in. Now. Hey, there's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. There you go. So I just use the extra board to push it all the way in. Then I fix it back. on my magnet. What's next? Uh, pass me to it. Pass me. Pass me. Yeah, and I add the gear in. Pass me. 
harsh me. Harsh me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Why doesn't this fit? This is worse than my mm, mm, weirdy, I'm not, not weirdy, wooden Lego ship. I mean, what? A wood okay. ship. Okay, the yellow part is facing downwards. The yellow part is facing what? Huh? Well, no, you, it won't fit. It won't fit. And it, it won't fit. It has to do it like that. Oh, okay, just do it like this. And okay, you it's facing downwards. No, it's not. So it, it, this thing, this piece won't fit this side, okay? There are two different connection holes. What happened? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The instruction says the thing is facing down, so I think I don't know. I did it reverse. Ah, I see. It's all right. That's why they give you screws and not glue. So that you can actually take it apart and do it again. Use screws, not glue. Use screws. Yeah, they can see where you yeah, so you can remove and then you can do it again. So it's all right. Look at these holes here. And look at this one here. You see where it went off? Yes. We do it. Oh, um, no. Why does this yeah. Japan on me? You mean the instructions? Probably. You can't have a it takes some patience and once you get used to building all this stuff, you'll be good at it. You'll be very quick in all, all of them. Now you're getting used to it. We never get used to it. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get everything out. Uh, yes? Uh, we have to go. Okay, sure. Okay. Did you did you manage to put in the gear back in there as well? I think so. Okay. Okay. okay bye. Okay, bye. See you. See you. See you. See you. Why is everybody leaving? Because it's lunch. Because they have class or they have, they have some other class to go to. Then they will watch the recording later. You do the talent. Because we run these classes in the You need to unscrew first. Unscrew it first. Okay, I'm going to later. Put the pieces back into the bag. So yeah. If not, if you can choose not to screw anything and then screw them all in one shot later. What I don't think The mochi. But of course, get something to eat while you're using the Yes, I would get lunch in the So you unscrew everything. What's for lunch? <laughs> What are you going for lunch? Maybe sandwiches. Oh, okay. What sandwiches? We will see you out. Please do not only not just vegetables. It's just vegetables. Oh, oh yeah, we, we are having spinach soup later. Oh, nice. I'm having. According to my mom, I'm having um sandwiches. I don't know what sandwiches and some who knows what soup. Uh, five participants. Actually, three students. And yes, I can't get this out. I can't take this out since the riots have already refused. And you ask yourself, why can't you get it out? Because why the wires have been fused. It? The so, wires have been fused. The wires have been fused. Okay. But at the correct place? No. The wires are not at the correct place? This is how it currently looks like. Okay. So, ah, yeah. okay. And it's on the wrong side. So what you can do is you can cut off the longer wire from the battery pack there, right in the middle, and then you you actually connect them again later. Oh, you can cut out the wires and then you can connect them again later from the battery from the battery pack thingy in the middle of it. Is there anything on the middle? Yeah, because the wire is, is very long, and you see that there's a lot of empty space in between. Just cut in between Mom. and then tie them up. Right. No, that isn't. I'm doing the car later. Yeah, okay, Constantine, you're done ready. Yeah. So now not yet. Okay. Almost. Okay. You want to fix the back first and then you can do the front later too. Oh, you finished the back already. Okay, he finished the back. So you put the XO in there. You put this wheel facing in this way. How did you jeopardize me?
Yeah, I use my extra piece of board. So do the mochi first or the wheat grain, whatever. Oh, no, we do the wheat first. Oh my! I'm gonna. You're gonna guess what is what. I can recognize what you eat. <laughs> I know what I eat. Do you recognize the things you eat? Yes, I do. Yeah. So, do you know what are the two different grains you received? What? What are the two different grains you received? Well, let's see. I see. I uh, the the two different grains I see. Grains. Yeah, I think you said. Do you know what they are? I do not know. I I, I know what I eat. I don't know. I do not know what <laughs> how they look like before before it's done. Okay. Uh, how 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 they look like before they process in the rice or noodles or whatever. Yep. I do not and know. Now you get, so now you get to see how they are. Why is this mm -hmm. for? That's for the rubber band on the side. You see this side over here? After you fix this like this, you are going to fix this in there. This way. This way? See that? This way. Yeah, facing inside. See that? All the way inside. Yes. And then you adjust the wheels so that both sides are about the same length. And the bottom wheels is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just then you you try to rotate it with your hand. If it's too tight, then you loosen it a tiny little bit. That's all, so that it can rotate easily. There you go. See, now I can rotate easily. Just now at first, it was too tight. So, so the next thing is to put the tires? Yes, the last thing is to put the tires on. Before we put the batteries. Ta-da! Just put them facing each other. Leon, you understand Chinese, right? Yeah. So there's Chinese instructions you can follow too. I understand Chinese, but not all the words. Not all. You don't need all. The Just look for the simplest way you can understand. After a while, you'll figure out what it all means. Okay, so I fixed the wheels and then... Done. I need all my batteries now. Ouch. Why is there a lot more? None. So if I press my button, you can see only the front wheel is moving. The front wheels are moving. Isn't it the back wheel? The back wheel doesn't move until you add the rubber band onto the plastic wheels there. So it's like the tank once we have, it helps them move together. Okay, I need to make sure that it fits nicely. Wait, it is the wrong controller, but then it still works because it's similar. Okay, I'm going to check out why it is not moving. Maybe it's too tight, so I'm going to loosen it slightly. I'll hold, I'll don't need, I it's press. okay. Like no, you don't press it when I'm doing halfway through a project because it's disturbing me. Tell me you want to press it. I'm not going to take it out ready. I told you if you, you can do this before class, after me. class. You can do this before after class, but in the middle of class, try not to do things like this. Ah, there you go. It was because the connection between my front front wires over here are too tight. There is not loose enough for it to connect. And now see the rubber band helps to bring out the energy from the back wheels to the front wheels as well.
This one is easy. Got two types of grains here. Can you bring me the cloth on the island table? The blue color cloth. There. The one in the basket? Yes, please. This one? Yep, it was the free cloth we got yesterday. <laughs> Constantine, are you still there? Ah, you're done with it. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I see a big smile. Using blue deck to secure on the boot. I see. So do you know these two here? What what are they? What grains these are, are they? These are grains. Yeah, what kind of grains though? Uh, this looks a bit like farm greens. Yeah, but what is it? This two. What is what? Yeah, the, the right one is looks a bit like the the bread, like we eat the sunshine bread. The pictures on it is there? Yes, yes. Sunshine bread. So what is, what kind of grains do you think it is? So you're talking about this one here? This one is a wheat. This one this is wheat, is it? And yeah. this one is, if this it is wheat, is, then what is this? Corn. Corn? It doesn't look like, look like this. Corn doesn't look like this, right? Yeah. Okay. It looks a bit. It looks a it, bit. Like, you can see this one, right? Okay, you can take a look over here. This is whole grain, right? So you yeah. can see that now plants here, the leaves on it here. Yeah. It's the leaves up here. And then this one is the stem here, right? All the way. But we don't have the pillar or the roots. But if you look in between this here, the stem here, if I cut a little hole on it, guess what it is actually? It's hollow. Mm. It's like a straw, isn't it? It's hollow. It's constantly missing. <laughs> Colin, the sound is is uh is affecting Constantine. Can we play that later? Okay, I can explain. Yes, can you do it at the room area, in the walkway, maybe not too close. No, how about I just don't do it? Okay. Okay. So over here you can see that's the brain and the whole entire parts of it, right? Ah, there you go. It's a bigger part of it. So what we're going to figure out right now is to figure out which is which. So you're going to take out one grain. And then you're going to open it up. And see what's inside. Now what does it look like? Is it a seed? Grain. It's a seed. Now, for the wheat ones, you got to press on it and find the one that has something inside, yeah? Before you can take them out. 
Yes, there you go. So I'm going to de-shell this. Yeah, look at that. They're very, very different. It's yellow and yellowish and dry, and that one is not. I'm going to go play with the part in the walkway. Thank you. I'm going to put it on the tabletop. I'll take a picture of it and then you can take a look at it. Okay, so you can see the grains, it looks different. It's drier on one side and the other one. <laughs> We're looking at the grains right now. We took out the grains to see how it looks inside it. You can see that. So anybody can guess? Constancy said, said this was wheat, right? So what's the other one? Rice grain. Yes, you are right. Rice grain. Oh, very good. You figure out what it is already, right? Because it looks like rice. So you can take a look. So when people say that eat whole grain and stuff, usually they, they actually also include the outside, right? And this is when they refine, they take away all, every part of it. You see, all these little parts, they have like the, the outside layer, protective layer has actually is a fiber, fiber and have vitamin B and minerals. And then the gem over here has same thing, vitamin B, um, B, E, and then some other healthy fats and stuff. So it's actually very important to eat a whole grain, but unfortunately, not everybody are so used to eating them because they might taste rougher, not as smooth as our the refined grains. Right? Well, sometimes we can mix them when you're cooking, so you can understand that part too. So you can eat all of them at the same time. So in olden days, how do they actually remove all the grains? Because it's so difficult to bring, take them out one by one, right? Okay, cloth. So they put it, they trash it, as in like it really crash onto it. So if you have things like hammer or you have things that are flat and then you want to that to loosen it off, that's it. So once you you in uh, you put in the pressure of it, you can see them coming off. I can I did the opening and see that. So it will loosen them off the stem. So it's exactly how it sounds like. And what happened if I put them closer together? It breaks the shell. See, it's out already without peeling. So, if I do more, it's split apart the shell, the shell is split apart, and then the seeds will be out. There you go. So you can see, like I have all these which are out already. 
Have you seen any videos before for fashing? Okay, let me get with trashing. There you go. Me. Yes. So you can see, right, from the beginning part of it, what they're showing is after they finish growing, when it's green, and they harvest it when it's dried up already. So what they're doing is that they put it in a bag, gather a lot of them in the bag over there. Then they put it on the floor and they trash it. Yes, yes. see? So they just keep hitting it to loosen out the grains. Okay, you see over here, right? Why do they pour it down in front of a fan? Constantine, can you make a guess? Because they, they don't want the, the, the stick looking thing to go inside there. Stick? Okay, this yeah, is the brand. The, the brand, the brand. Not the brand, sorry. No, the husk. The husk. Yeah, the has. Then you see the you see the stem as well. Yeah, they are because they are lighter than the grain, so they are trying to use the wind to blow it away. You can see, you can see it's flying off, right? Yeah. So the wind speed must be just nice. Correct. It must be no. Uh, it it must be strong enough to blow off the. Leave the dry leaves yeah, and the stems and everything, off. but not strong enough to blow off the grains. Okay. If not, it'd be not left with no grains. <laughs> yeah, so what is this? Can you guess? What grain is this? Wheat. Yes, it's wheat. This is not as dry as the one we have, but this yeah. is wheat. Mama, the sun comes too fast and not everything will fly out well. Yes. So and, it's, and, it'll be, and it'll be raining grains. Okay. So it's quite interesting, right? Yeah. Okay, so. okay, now the mochi part is the easiest and the nicest to eat. So you just take it out. This one you can eat, the mochi itself, and the chocolate. No gelatin, I think. No, no, mochi. Got this no one has no gelatin. That's why I said you can eat. <laughs> okay, so what you do is you take out, this is soya, uh, the soya, soya uh, powder, bean powder. And you can eat too, so you can just pour it into one side. And Auntie John, is, I'm going yeah. to watch you. Later I'll do. Okay, no problem. And then this is chocolate after lunch, okay? okay. After yeah. lunch. Yes, yes, correct. I thought it's real sauce. This one is chocolate sauce. Look. There. Yeah, so you just pour it in. You can do all. You can do some. You can keep some and then drizzle on top. So this is very interesting. You can take it. It's really hard. And it's actually freeze dried. It's actually dried already. I'm still talking. So you pour some water, just enough 
at the bottom layer. There you go. So that it can soak. And when they are soaking, it's important to spread them out. If not, they will end up sticking together. There you go. So you flip it around to make sure that the water gets to this white surface so they can actually soak in the water and hydrate itself again. Because they are dehydrated, right? Yeah. So once it becomes almost trans, uh, you, can, you can feel it, it can soft all over, then it is done. So you don't need a lot of water either. Just enough to make sure that it gets to soak out and then gets get to rehydrate itself up. And once you are done, you can just take a piece. You can choose if you want to put the powder, right? And then if you want chocolate, you can put it, you can soak on, you can just scoop onto it or you can do the other way around. Take some chocolate onto here and then Put it on top and then eat. Okay, Auntie Jo, he's ready. Uh, uh, come, come. I do this. I want the chocolate, okay? Okay, and I put the chocolate also, okay? Uh, so don't need to put too much chocolate, of course. Say, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's very, very soft and very nice. Okay. So go and have lunch and then you can have a dessert.